So last year, Amazon announced a whole slew of new products, like the Echo Input, the Amp, you know, that being the subwoofer where you can put two Echoes together and make the whole home audio solution. They even did like an Echo Car thing. But the one that I was the most excited about is this, the Amazon Echo Wall Clock. We got one and we're gonna unbox it and set it up in today's super cool unboxing. All right, so I'm really excited about this. It's pretty basic. It's just a clock and when you set a timer, it shows you the timers using the little, little notches around the side of the clock. I don't know why, but this concept to me is extremely cool, I guess because I use my Echo all the time for timers and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do a little tour of the box. So on the front you have the Amazon design with the clock up there so you can see how clocktastic it looks. Um, then the side it just says Bluetooth and then Amazon Echo wall clock. And then this gives you what's included in the box. Um, so this comes with the wall clock, four AA batteries, a drywall screw, and a drywall anchor. And then it also shows the compatibility for that's required for the Echo device you're trying to use. So you can use an Amazon Echo, an Echo Dot, an Echo Input, an Echo Plus, an Echo Show, or an Echo Spot to connect this with. All right, and then this just kind of gives you some details about what this thing does um, honestly modern design that's a big thing we have a existing clock which I'm going to be replacing with this one um, and I really do like the design of this clock now these run about $30 the reason it took me so long to get one is because it went on sale and I guess they had some issues with it I honestly missed when it first went on sale but they had some issues with it and they pulled it for a while and it just started, it just went back on sale uh, last week. So I was like, let me go ahead and get one because this is the thing that I was waiting for. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So we got one of these little luscious zippy tie type, not zip tie. Zip tie doesn't make any sense. We got one of these luscious stickers here that I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, they did, they made it extra smooth. We're gonna have to do a slow-mo replay on this. Oh, they did. They made it extra smooth. You saw how smooth that was? That was crazy. All right. So after you pull that, then the top of this just pops open. Boom, boom, boom. Unfold. And then you pull out. Ha! <laughs> pull out. Stop it. No pull out jokes. All right. So this box is empty. And inside of every great box is, actually this isn't even a full box, but this is pretty uh, minimal packaging, but I really like it. Like, it's just this little kind of slip cover that goes over the, the clock. And you can see here, and then it has your quick start guide. So, it's telling you, let me set this aside for a minute, because it's gonna fall over, you know. So, It's basically telling you not to try to like move the hands on the clock because you could damage it. Um, so it has a status light at the bottom. Uh, it basically tells you how to install the batteries. Doo -doo. And it tells you how to mount it and all this stuff. And then what the status lights mean. All right. So that's the, the quick setup guy. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. So I'm gonna follow the directions here. It says pull to open. So I'm gonna pull this bottom part here. And, okay, so you just pull, oops. Really? I break the thing, try to unbox it. Okay, so you're supposed to just, I guess those pull tab, you're supposed to pull this, this whole thing was supposed to come out. Uh, I honestly didn't really pull it right. So this is the clock. Bam, and that's pretty. It's pretty sexy. Um, I mean, it's a it's a basic clock. It's very you know it feels very plasticky, but as a it's what I expected. Um, then here you have where the batteries go. And 
And then there's a little box in here that has a little sticky thing on the back. But this is the, the AA batteries along with the wall anchors. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. So we got two batteries, four batteries. Of course, they're uh, Amazon Basics. And then you have your little wall anchor. All right, so I'm gonna open these Amazon Basics batteries. All right, so I got two out. And then you just boom, boom. And then, boom, boom. It will help if I, it will help if I could put this back on right. There it goes. All right, so I've gotten the batteries put in. So let's look at our quick setup guide. Alexa, set up my Echo Wall Clock. Okay, press and hold the pairing button on the back of your Echo Wall Clock for up to 10 seconds until the light on the clock's face pulse is orange. Pairing may take up to a minute and the light will turn blue once paired. You can also pair or unpair your clock in the Alexa app under the Bluetooth settings of your Echo device. Okay, so I was doing it wrong. You're not supposed to, it doesn't actually say press it. It says follow the directions that the, the Echo gives you. So my bad. But all you do is you press and hold this for 10 seconds, like like she said over there, and then it's gonna start to pulsate. So we'll see what happens. Your echo happens. wall clock is paired. The light will pulse blue for a few minutes as your clock is set to the same time as your echo device. The hands will start and stop several times during this process. Once the time is set, try setting a timer or ask, what can echo wall clock do? All right, so. According to this notification, our status light thing, while it's posting blue, it's still setting up. So we'll wait for it to go solid. And then we'll go ahead and hang it up and then we'll do a quick test. I do think it's cool that it automatically sets the time for you. Because I'm gonna be honest, the clock I have up there right now is either dead or the time's wrong. It's one of those two things. Still waiting. Still attempting to set the time. Look, it's taking a little bit longer than expected to set up. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this hung up. So that way, when it finally is done setting the time by itself, that we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get this on the wall. So just gonna take my old clock down here, which this is a really nice clock. I'm still gonna keep it. I'm just wanting something a little bit more echoey. So then I'm gonna angle this up. I hope that I don't drop it. All right, and it is good. So let's go ahead and do a quick test. Alexa, set timer for one minute. One hour, starting now. She don't listen. It did work though. Alexa, cancel one hour timer. One hour timer canceled. It works pretty fast. Alexa, set timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Okay, so that's cool. Alexa, set second timer for 30 seconds. Second timer, 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, so that's how it illustrates two timers if you set two. 
So let's just see what happens once one of these timers go off. I think the world's gonna blow up. Suspense. Alexa, stop. So overall, I have to say, I really do like this product. Um, it's about $30, which I guess for a rather basic clock is expensive. But if you use the timers a lot like I do, and you like having like a traditional clock in your kitchen, I mean... $30 is a lot, but I mean, it's a cool clock and you don't actually have to set it. it. It sets itself based on the Echo's time. So daylight savings time and all that stuff. It's going to stay updated. All you got to do is make sure that you keep working batteries in it, which I'm terrible at. But at least since I'm using it for timers now, I'll know if the batteries are dead. All right. So if you enjoyed this video today, remember to tell a friend, tell a coworker, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, keep doing at least two things at the same time. Peace.